Hello, the game has started. And it's my opponent to go first. Um, I've got quite a good rack. Um, shriller. Uh, drillers, I've got. But what about Riddler doesn't work? Because I've got two L's. A four-timer would be... Would be good, but what about a bingo beginning with an A? Array load, not quite. Not seeing it. Um, so I think I'll go with drillers. Or redrills. That's a bit safer. Oh, oh. What have I done? Re drills. There we go. Um I've created an X hotspot there. Now not a bad pickup. Um a few front hooks for aged. And Not seeing any great options currently with this rack. I'd like to get rid of Foy, F-O-Y. And the rack leave would be great, S-A-T-E. Faged and yaged, no good. What about F-Y? <laughs> Okay, opponents played macro. And or takes an F. Um, Could play Foy up here. Um, gives back some easy score to opponent, but look at this rack leave. This is really tempting. I'm going with this. Not ideal. I duplicate uh, tiles on the rack, which isn't great. Opponent does bingo and takes the lead. Um... Not seeing a seven. I could play Etta here. That would sort the rack out. Oleates is good, but not aliates. Alienates through an I and an N. Now I think Eater looks fine for 35. Okay, um, not a bad replenishment, but yeah, the W, a bit of a fly in the ointment there. Um, what have we got? Any eights with this rack? Towel, towel weeds? No. The K, good scoring potential onto the trip. Opponent likely to take that spot. I have the EST ending. Oh. 
Yeah, opponents played up in the top. Um, w, if I can get rid of W, E, then I think just have a quick look here if there isn't sweat least have the wet component of a word and the west component just not seeing it this hot spot still here although not overly hot Q and the X wouldn't really play twice so I'm not overly concerned about that. What about just EW in the top? That's 19. I think I'll go with this. Not good. Duplicate the A and I've got the U now. Um, LU8, no. Ulu lates, no, I'd need one of the A's to be a U. Ulu lates would have played there. But no, I'm I'm just not seeing a seven. Spatule maybe through a P as a eight. Opponents played cheese. Um A U. I need to get rid of AU, so something like ALU for 8. But this feels like a never ending search for a bingo. Okay, this looks a little bit better than the previous rack. Although I'm not seeing a bingo straight off the bat. Lashiest? No. Shaliest? Yes. But will the spot remain available? It does. Now, has the O helped? Not seeing anything from the O. I have the hot component of a word, hot sales, <laughs> shopping term. Now I think shaliest looks fine, 65. I draw the Z, but only one vowel, so I'm not sure there'll be much flexibility with this rack. Um, S takes a H underneath it. Now fizz is good. P-H-I-Z. Doesn't quite work underneath bonnier. And it doesn't quite work underneath shadiest. Fizz. Nothing that I have really works. Okay. Another opportunity here. Not really. No, that's not provided much for me. No front hooks for WAD that I have. Um, so, what to do? Do I hang on to the Z? I think I do because it, well, it's tempting to play fizz here just to keep the score ticking along. I know it gives back some score to opponent underneath the P from 8A, but I just want to keep the pressure on with the score, I think. Yeah, I'm going with Fizz. Uh, not a great pickup, but at least I draw another vowel. Mm. 
Gyron is good. Opponent scores well with Peck. Um, Vino. What about Vin? Just Vin here. That looks alright for 24. And gets rid of the V and a duplicate N. So, yeah, there is some merit to doing this. 24. Not a good set of tiles. The one saving grace is I do have the X, but a million miles from a bingo. Nox and Tex, half decent. 30 point play, terrible rack leave. 14 vowels, 15 consonants, pretty balanced. Is there a way to get rid of the V and the U? Well, Gov or Vug, that doesn't quite work above Peck. That would have been a nice way to get rid of the Dross. Prong. 16, terrible rack leave. Uh, the V and the U have to go pronto. Alu takes an M and an S. Opponent taking some time with this move. Uh, what about a five letter play ending in O? Opponent's play Dalt gives, provides a hot spot for the X. Vox. Fox looks like the play here. Scores well and gets rid of the V. I'm going with this. 47. Does give back some potential score underneath AX. Especially with those E's. A play of Doff and Fay would be damaging. It would pretty much cancel out the 47 I just scored. What about judoing? Can judo be a verb? 48, very unlikely to remain available. Um, what about a play up here? Jug, no, jun. Yeah, that'll work. And it's safe as houses. There's no... Uh, way opponent can play. Well, Peck takes an S. I don't think there's any word that has a JS pattern. That's a good score. I'm just waiting to see what the damage will be here. And I can't even take advantage of of the spot. Opponent's bound to have an E, so I do have a bingo score at the moment. A bingo lead, I should say, as far as the store go, the scores go. Uh, what about an ING ending word here? Interesting, opponent has not played underneath. Now, what about judoing? No. It is not a verb. You cannot judo. Mm. What about judo G? Judo G. Like that. 
Yes, I thought it rang a bell. Judo G. Um, Rainer, Rainier, no. Um, now this is still a potential bingo lane. Bingo is beginning in with N E or S E or S T. <coughs> Actually, I don't know about ain't. I think it's it ain't good. <coughs> S E bingos or N. Yeah, N E bingos. This I have created a bingo lane here for bingos with the S in third position. So perhaps I should address that and take it out as a danger. Uh, Ack sign, no good. Rax, raxing, raxing oh. is good. <coughs> Six tiles in the bag. Pretty bingo-y, these tiles. That T also a danger. Be saint, for example. That would be a big score. <coughs> I think I'm, this is a 90-point play, this judoji. I think I need to take it out. At least if opponent plays through the T, he'll provide scoring opportunities for me. Whereas if he plays a bingo here, like be saint, be, I think be saint or be stain, um, then I'm in real trouble. Um, what? Okay. Uh, what about Rainer? Rain. Rainer. No, Rainer is no good. Um, Exxon. Raxing is good, but not Raxine. And Exxine, but not Axine, Axile, so close, but um, uh, what about Ern? I think that pretty much takes it out. Okay. Detains. Oh, opponent. Wow, now he's got a potential bingo through the T. What could it be? He's got Satinette on his rack. Tenaced. He has ten aced. Ten aced, so I'll have to take care of that. Ferret. I think that'll sort it out. I almost have a bingo myself. Beef here. Certainly have to take the tea out. But how best to do it? Tribe. Because mm. I want to take out the bingo potential at the bottom as well. just in case there is something. So what about 
trier. That that would mean he'd he'd need triber. Trier. Traith. Yeah. That should do it. Um, oh, I didn't think of it to play out. That was a bit silly. Anyway. Main objective was to block the bingo. And I think I've achieved that. Um, brute or but. Probably better to get rid of the R. Brute for 18. Or but for 21 minus the 2 from the R is 19. So but is probably just a touch better, I think. Or what about... Just looking at underlaps, um, sateen, okay. I've got bet here. I bet that's best, score-wise. Yeah. 23. And then opponent should go out with the eye. <coughs> Kinsman was nice as a bingo. And that's the end of the game. 413 to 327. Thank my opponent for the game. Let's see what we missed. Back to the beginning. Dirge. Uh, for opponent, went with aged, pre-drill, um, oh, pre-drill, that was the four-timer, everyday word, just didn't think of the pre-prefix, <laughs> lordlier, that's another one I'm familiar with, and re-drills was my play, so that was a bit of a miss, Pre-drill would have been good. Um, not a bad rack, but no bingo. Locum from the L, but that exposes the trip. Opponent went with macro. Now foy was best for 26, albeit a little bit volatile. And opponent had uh, kinsmen in... Oh, if he transposed the blank, he would have scored an extra point. Um, and look at that. Ink for 51. Keeping EMS blank, that's almost worth considering as well. It actually sims higher than the, the bingo for 88. Only just. But nice find by opponent nonetheless. Ah, oh, there we go. Elastase. I thought I'd missed a bingo. Elastase through this S. And two positions, yeah. So, because elastane is good with an N. And then elastase. So that was a miss. Eta was the next best on offer. So at least I spotted the best non-bingo. Uh, Koto for 24. And then U for 19 was best with that rack leave. Opponent's got chief, cheese for 21 or chi for 23. 9G. 9G. Oh, chi there. Okay. Now, no bingo here. Very close. 
Um, Qua. I'm not playing Qua. Not for 12 points. Leaving an A in the trip lane there. That's ridiculous. Um, Alu for 8. Um, features quite high up. Same rack leave, but far less dangerous. Um, Bonnie for opponent. Goes with Bonnier. Now, Bathless. I spotted Shaliest, but Bathless from the B. It was a Bathless bathroom. It didn't have a bath in it. Um, Shelters, that's a, a also a bit of an obscure one. Shelters, 67, um, 9B, where was that? Oh, okay, shelters there. A uh, little bit volatile there, just giving easy access to the trip. So Shalius, not too bad after Bathless. And then opponents got Wad for 25. Now Fizz for 30. Yeah, it simmed more or less top with Vin. 14H. 14H. Oh, well, I did actually play Vin, but on the next turn. I just thought, get rid of the Z. Move towards bingo territory as quickly as possible. And Fizz actually did take out a useful bingo lane. Almost any bingo would play in row 7. Flen uh, Plench. F2. Ah, that's pretty hidden. Very nice. Through two disconnected floaters. Pona went with Peck. And then Vin. This is when I did play under the Q. And I like the play because it didn't really give back too much. Although there was a potential of a score underneath as a bingo. Um, so Vor. Actually Vor pretty good as well. In retrospect, yeah, I prefer Vor. But I did like the idea of undoubling the ends. So that's why I played, another reason why I played Vin. Now, no bingo. Close, but nothing available. Pony goes with Dalt. And then I've got Vox for 47 which uh, gave me a little bit of a cushion there. Now, opponent didn't have an E. Look at all these E's and not one on my opponent's rack. Um, Uzi for 41. Doys for 41. A1. Oh, Spec. Uzi and Spec. That's big. And Doys and Scab was nice as well for 41. But Uzi, I'd say the play there. Judoji, that was best for 46. Oh, look at this opponent had a bingo. Desiaton through the T in column N. Desiaton, tricky to spot. And that was the only bingo. The next best was 15. Oh, easy there. That was an easy 49 points. But I think opponent was looking to bingo. And yeah, I think, well, yeah, you've got a very particular, specific bingo with the S in third position. The T I'm going to take out every day of the week at this stage of the game. Um, so opponent had to assume the T was not going to be available for him. Or the S for that matter. Um, and probably 
had to assume that this bottom right quadrant wouldn't be a bingo lane either or it would be very heavily frustrated which is what I tried to achieve with my play um, oh sorry at this stage I didn't play through the T I played through the I because um, I recognized this bingo as being really heavy hitting, like a hundred point play almost. And let's see if opponent would have had something. No. Nyades. Nyades. Aina isn't good. Almost. Andesite. No. So. Yeah, it it didn't work. Anyway, that was my thinking because I did see be stain and be saint and I just thought that's huge, I can't leave that. Anyway, that was my thinking. Opponent had add here. One last try for a bingo. Now the analyzer's suggesting burr, but it's not taking into account the um, the danger of the bingo, which could have cost me the game. So that's why I took out the T as well as frustrated the bottom lane with Traith. Now, Etesian, uh, Satine, but no bingos. Would Etesian have played? Well, Tenaced would have played. So, good to have blocked the T, but I'm just wondering if there was a... No, it's only a Tizian. Okay, so... And any set, I think, through the T. Anyway, that was blocked, so opponent went with Satine, and then bet for 23 looks best. Opponent goes with Hoy... And then it was just the end game. So, interesting one. One or two misses, but a good game all in all. Hope you enjoyed watching that game, and I will see you next time.